Hi, in this video tutorial, you will learn how to install and set up the Kingdom WooCommerce Amazon Affiliates theme. For starters, the theme gets installed like any other theme. You need to go to the WordPress Admin Dashboard, Appearance, Themes. There, click on Add New, and then Upload Theme. Choose the zip file that you downloaded from ThemeForest and hit the Install button. After installing the theme, you will be notified that you have to install the plugins that come along with the theme. Proceed to installing and activating them. It will take just a few clicks. Now that you have the theme activated, you might want to import some dummy data to get a feel for how the theme actually might look like populated. This is done with the help of the Backup Manager. To use it, go to WP Admin and click on Backup Manager. Then choose the data that you want to import. In this tutorial, we'll import the data from the Healthy Food Demo. Click Choose File and select the zip file containing the dummy data. Then click on Import Content. After importing the content, you also need to import the demo's slider in Slider Revolution. To do that, in WP Admin, go to Slider Revolution. In this plugin's dashboard, click Import Slider and select the archive that came along with the demo. Now that the content has been imported, let's see how the site looks like. As you can see, everything is right where it should be. Now, the demo is imported and looking like the one you previewed before purchasing the theme. The thing that's left for you to do at this point is to customize it according to your preferences. To do that, go to Appearance, Customize. You have over 50 theme options enabling you to customize the theme. Now, you can adjust the theme's look in any one of two ways, through the WordPress Customizer or through the Customizer Site Beautify plugin. Let's start with the first one. You can tweak a lot of settings to have your theme looking the way you want. For example, you can edit the Site Identity or Top Bar. You can also set up the Departments menu from here. We'll get back to this one a little bit later. The Logo and Header Social options can be changed as well in just a few clicks. Have you thought about your site typography? You should. It's important and you can mass customize it in the Theme Fonts section. Or you can achieve a deep, per-element level of detail via the Customizer Site Beautify. Shop is the section that you'll need to edit when you want to set up the shop appearance and the settings of your site. Here, you can change the shop page template or the number of products per page. You can also choose between the theme's own star rating and Amazon's. And, as you can see, there are other relevant settings that can be made here. Then, you can configure the blog section and the sharing options. The footer is the place for important info on an e-commerce site. Therefore, Kingdom enables you to easily edit the copyright text and e-commerce links. Besides what we mentioned so far, you can also change the cache lifetime for the Amazon Daily Deals, for example. Do you want to use other colors than the theme's default ones? Change them here. With a few clicks, you can also edit the menus, widgets, and the settings for the static front page. Now, let's get to the Customizer Site Beautify plugin. You can edit your theme by clicking the pencil icons next to each layout element. This way, you can change the layout element's text, background, margin, padding, and border settings. If you know a bit of coding, you can add your custom CSS code here. As you can see, you can do this on a lot of design elements on any page. Let's move on to the Departments menu. You can have a regular menu with icons, and also a sidebar Departments menu for product categories, pages, or posts. To set it up, go to Appearance, Menus, and create a new menu. Set it to Alternative Navigation. Add menu items as well as sub-items. You can go even deeper with the menu by adding another sub-item. Make sure you add icons to your menu items for your visitors to find even faster what they need. To make the menu look even better, add images to these sub-items and save the menu. The result looks refreshing, and it's sure to catch the visitor's attention to this section. Let's set up our sidebar now. With Kingdom, you can set up an unlimited number of sidebars to use for different sections of the site. To do that, go to Appearance, Kingdom Theme, and add a new sidebar. Afterwards, you can go to the site's widgets section and add whatever widgets you prefer. Then, you can assign this sidebar to a certain page from your website 
and edit its position. If you want to create a page with a custom layout, you can use Visual Composer. You can use either the back end or the front end editor to do this. Here, you can add the various design elements of your choice with the help of the useful Visual Composer shortcodes. And this is quite easy to achieve. You just need to add the elements you want and then position them however you prefer. You can even create a blog page with Visual Composer and select the Kingdom Blog Slideshow shortcode. Then, set the number of columns and posts per page. You've already learned the process, so now you know how to create an Amazon Today's Deals page. Go to Pages, Add New, or to an existing page, and select and insert the Kingdom Amazon Top Deals shortcode. With a few settings here and there, your Amazon Top Deals page is ready. Now, all you need is to add a title and a few more design elements, and your page is ready for publishing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel.